Hello, my darlings. Thank you so much <clears throat> for all the kind thoughts, prayers, and wishes everybody has been sending my way. I feel very cared for, very loved, very appreciated. I really needed the break. <laughs> I thought, um, I thought I was resting enough, but apparently my guides were like, nope, we're going to teach you what it really means to rest. So, so yeah. So let's go ahead and see what's coming up for today. By the way, guys, I am leaving. Oh, let's do the bell. Sorry. Hold on. I'm letting the uh, scammers stay out there because there's too many. I'm getting overrun. I'm just going to let them because it takes me so much time to search them out and be deleting all the comments and blocking. <sighs> At this point, you should know um, if people are just, <coughs> excuse me, if people are just offering free readings and oh, it's, it's bullshit. I, you really, I don't know how to tell it to you now. So if you fall for it at this point, I don't know what to tell you. Let's see. What is the message for today's collective? Hmm. Okay. We have not seen that one before. Number 19. Let's see. Number 19. Deals with Gumran. Early Joseon period. Betrayal of love. Uh-oh. A young man named John Mok met a Kisai in Gumran in Chungju and fell in love deeply. He was worried that Gumran would give her heart to another man when he left Chungju, so he asked her not to give affection to others rashly even if he left. Gumran also responded with tears, saying, Even if that Mount Wolak collapses, my sincere heart towards you will not change. However, only a few months later, Jeon Mok was flushed with anger after hearing news that Gumran found another lover. Jeon Mok wrote a poem to Gumran in frustration to scold her unprincipledness and to determine why she had abandoned her oath. Gumran, who received the letter, replied in a poem, What incision do you expect from a Kisang? I mean, that was her profession. So it applies in the sense that the love and promise between a man and a woman are in vain. Um, a frothy promise, but I'm guessing that means like a not very stable one. That would not become true as overused like a habit. It is a moment that a man who firmly believed the promise becomes a fool. He is also to blame for choosing a woman who leaves herself to any man. Someone who does not have eyes for people become unhappy. It is love without faith, so the result differs with the circumstances. In the answering poem, Gumran said that Mount Willock would have collapsed countless times under such an oath. So, let's keep in mind, Kisangs were ladies of the night, right? I'm not saying they were all prostitutes. Some of them were um, artists. I mean, they were all artists, but some of them focused exclusively on conversation or poetry or music. But most of them were there to fill a role, right? So this is like somebody who falls in love with a sex worker and then says, I don't want you to have sex with anyone else. Well, that's kind of their job. Uh, so on one hand, it's somebody who's a fool for putting that type of demand on another person who can't fulfill that promise. And on the other hand, it's don't make promises you can't keep, right? So let's see. Let's see how that plays out in today's collective message. Ooh, that one. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now and it went reversed. Oh, boy. <clears throat> All right. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. 
getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Let go of control issues. Oh, uh, this one says allow the situation to unfold naturally. And one more. Oh, reversed. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Reversed. <laughs> With calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others and unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. But this could be the one. Retreat. Um, this does feel one-sided. Like one person in this connection... <clears throat> really felt like they had been calling in the person that was going to be the love of their life and they feel like they found them. But with this one reversed, they don't really know what they want. They're not very clear on what they want. This, and as soon as this one came out, it felt like somebody was in a fantasy. Somebody was in a because, you know, it even says, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. You know, during holidays, like Thanksgiving, Christmas, there's like a magic in the air, right? And it's like somebody here allowed that magic to carry them off into like, oh my God, we're going to live like this forever. But it was supposed to be a holiday. It was supposed to be a short amount of time. This is somebody who needs to heal issues in their family line. They either have a mother wound or a father wound that they need to work through. They need to heal and forgive. <sighs> because this is affecting the way that they see love. So I feel like this is more for the masculine instead of the feminine. This might have been a masculine who fell in love with somebody who is promiscuous. And then they're mad that this person is promiscuous. Like, well, did you get to know this person though? Or were you overly optimistic and overly excited about, oh, I found romance, I found romance, without realizing this person has different beliefs than I do, they have different priorities than I do. Uh, somebody turned a honeymoon or a holiday into like a forever thing. Like imagine somebody having a summer fling and then later on getting mad that their summer romance that they met in another country is now dating someone else. Like, well, it was supposed to be for fun, you know? But somebody here fell in love they expressed it. They wanted to be romantic, but they were controlling the They were trying to control the situation. They don't know how to let it unfold naturally. And at some point, the chemistry was lost. The attraction was lost. Interesting. Because we see it down here. They feel like they had romantic feelings, <clears throat> like what they felt was real. But in reality, it was very lighthearted. I feel like one person thought, this is a nice flirt. This is fun. But it wasn't really love. It wasn't as powerful as they thought it was. It was attraction, but it wasn't like so much attraction that they were like, this could be the one. Maybe for some time they did feel that way. But not, not really. Oof. Especially if they got married. Oh, boy. That's a disaster in the making. <coughs> but let's see. Clarify calling in your soulmate. We have the Fool, Page of Cups, and the World card, with the Three of Cups. This is very difficult because I do feel like this is this is a connection that maybe began as friends or friends as friends with benefits, not because there was like this huge magnetic attraction, but because it was like, well, we're having fun. There's a little bit of magic here. Let's keep it going. But I feel like the masculine fell a lot harder. They wanted a lot more out of this. 
they might have thought I can I can take it further. It may have begun as a friends with benefits, but I I will have this person fall in love with me. It, they may be a a lady of the night, but for me they'll put that life away, and we'll live happily ever after. It was yeah, it was a little naive. It was a little naive. Let's be real. They wanted the pretty woman story, but they're not Richard Gere. <laughs> And that's a movie. They're not in a movie. So they took a leap of faith on this person. I do think they might have married them because we do have retreat. We have a wedding. We have honeymoon. This person got caught up in some sort of... Let's call it limerence because this is not love. Because I don't think they really got to know this person. They were very much infatuated. But this is the world card. This is Saturn. <clears throat> so they're meant to be together. Maybe for several seasons. For several years. Or at least one, se one full year. Because now they're going to get to know each other. Now they're going to see a side of this other person. That they may think is cruel. But remember, her response was like, what do you expect? I'm a Kisang. Like, this is what I do for a living, right? So that's this person telling them, I showed you who I was. I didn't hide. But they weren't paying attention or they were wearing rose-colored glasses. So it's not that this person is trying to be cruel. It's almost like, I showed you who I was and now you're mad at me because you didn't believe that that's who I really was. Clarify very soon reversed. Five of Pentacles, the Empress, Temperance, with the Six of Swords. <sighs> so, this person didn't really know what they wanted. <clears throat> they just knew that they didn't want to be alone. And they had this image that the person they were marrying was this perfect feminine and that they were just going to be in harmony and they were <clears throat> going to, you know, build this life together. They were like living in some sort of fantasy. But again, it wasn't like this person that was intentionally creating a fantasy, almost like they weren't even aware of what they were doing. But that's what they were doing. They're being overly optimistic, overly um, naive, honestly. But it's because, remember, Saturn is at work. There's things that they have to heal within themselves that this connection is going to make them face. So although they may be upset because things didn't turn out the way they wanted them to, this is how things were supposed to turn out. Clarify healing family issues. Yeah, five of cups. The hangman. star with queen of swords <clears throat> they may have a mother wound because this card talks about healing family issues right and it talks about how your love life improves when you forgive your parents and we have feminine energies here here and here <clears throat> while the masculine is almost like suspended so this may be a masculine who was drawn to a feminine that reminds him of his mother or is the opposite of his mother. One of the two. See, mother and son. I just don't think this person realizes that it's almost like they're trying to save their mother through. Let's say their mother was. Let's use this example of the key sign, right? Let's say this is this scholar. What was he, a scholar? Hold on. I don't know why it's important for me to check, but I want to check. This, um... Oh, it doesn't say what he was. It just says he was a young man. And that he left. Okay, so this young man... Let's say that this young man was a... Son of a Kisang. And he always wished that somebody would have pulled her out of that life. 
because they could, right? They could be retired if somebody took them in under their, you know, purchased them basically because they were slaves. So let's say he wanted his mom to quit that life and live a normal life. So now he met a Kisang that he fell in love with. And the first thing he wants to do is get her to quit this life. But that's not his mother. This may be somebody who does not feel that way about him and does not want to leave that life. Because they're like, this is what I do. I'm comfortable here. So he's angry, but it's almost like he's trying to save his mother in some way. Or trying to change his past through changing this person. But... I don't feel like this person was dishonest about who they were. I think that this person was dishonest in accepting who they were. Now, not without meaning to. I'm not saying that this masculine was trying to fool themselves. But it's a wound, right? Sometimes we, when we act out of wounds, we're blind to it. And now they're sitting here disappointed, feeling like you let me down. You disappointed me. Here, I wanted to heal you. I wanted to do this. I wanted to do that without realizing it's actually their mother wound that they need to address. However, we do see this person in hangman mode, which tells me that the universe is doing its work. It is making this person sit here and examine why are you disappointed in this person when they were honest with you? Why are you upset with them when they're telling you who they are? You just didn't believe them or you thought you could change them. Why are you trying to change them? <clears throat> there's something here where they are examining their actions their 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 thought patterns too clarify stay optimistic six of pentacles the hermit three of pentacles hmm Ah, with the five of wands. This masculine. <clears throat> they may have Virgo energy. Doesn't have to be. It could be sixth house energy. They could have a lot of planets in the sixth house. It expresses itself in a Virgo way. Because they saw this feminine like a project. Like I can fix her. <laughs> That's that type of energy. You know how those memes out there, I find them funny, where there's a girl who's like a brutal murderer, <laughs> or they'll post memes of um, one of the inmates in a really high prison, high security prison, but she's beautiful, and they're like, I can fix her. It's like they're focused. They, they see these feminine as like, if I fix what's within this person, then I'll have their love, right? Six of Pentacles. It's giving, but not without expecting. They're expecting something in return. They're investing, but because they think they're overly optimistic, like I invest and I get back something. This is a challenge. This is a, a work in progress. I can change this person. When in reality, no, this, this Kisang did not tell this person they wanted to change. It would be different if they said, hey, help me become a different version of myself. Okay. That's not what this Kisang said. Promises were made, but it was like, I thought we were both joking. Like, I thought we both understood it was like in the heat of the moment. I didn't, you know, I didn't mean that. That was like, dude, I'm, I'm a sex worker. <sighs> That's like, you know, if a, if a man tells a prostitute, I love you. Like, uh, okay, that doesn't mean she's going to take them seriously. Because she knows that in the heat of the moment, people might say things they don't mean. So she didn't take it seriously, but they did. And they're mad that she didn't take it seriously. Like, well, I, I thought, I mean, do you, you know who I am? What do you expect? Clarify religious factors. Look at that. The devil. Seven of Pentacles. And ace, oh, ace of wands. Okay. The knight of wands. This, I'm not trying to make the masculine feel bad, okay? This is about being aware that sometimes when we accuse other people of hurting us, we could have avoided that. We put ourselves in the position to be hurt. Like if we know that somebody is not interested in a commitment, they're not interested in having a family, we're trying to force that on them and then we get mad at them because they don't want the same thing we do. Well, 
they didn't lie. Not everybody is meant to have the same destiny, the same future. So this masculine was, was leading with passion. They thought this was love, but this was just attraction. And eventually attraction, chemistry, it fizzles out. But initially it started all hot and heavy. <sighs> the masculine might have impregnated. I don't know why it's, that's, that's such, that sounds like breeding. I don't know why. They might have gotten her pregnant. Because there was a lot of passion here. And they felt like, oh, well, that's it. My religious beliefs say if I get this person pregnant, I've, I've got to marry them. And maybe this person didn't want to get married. But I do believe that they did. I see that here. I think they got married. And for a minute, it was it was the honeymoon. It was like, oh, my God, because this masculine thought they got what they wanted. I just don't think they did. Clarify honeymoon. King of Swords. Five of Wands. The Moon. And the Emperor. With the Tower. <clears throat> so, this masculine... How to put this? This masculine does not realize how controlling they are. And I'm saying that because let's use the example of the Kisang, right? <coughs> Kisangs were trained to dance, sing, play instruments, recite poetry. They were made, they were raised to be charming, but they were not raised to know how to cook. They were not raised to know how to clean, how to organize someone's finances because they weren't meant to be wives. They were meant to be mistresses. And I'm not saying that that's right. I'm not defending that system. I'm just saying that's how it was in that era. So I feel like this is kind of similar. Let's say that this is a masculine. I'm not saying this is what happened. I'm using that example, that analogy, and transferring it onto more modern day uh, view. Let's say that this masculine went into a strip club. They wanted to find the stripper with the heart of gold, right? They wanted to be the one that she changed for. But they want, they want the looks, the body that comes with the stripper, or specific types of strippers. They found the one they wanted. And they're like, that's the one. They start dating this person and saying, oh, I don't care. I'm not judging you. Because in their mind, it was hidden. They had ulterior motives. They were like, for me, you'll change. They just didn't want to say that out loud. It was a subconscious thing. This person might not even be aware of why they were acting this way. They go to strip club, find the person they want. They start dating them, telling them they don't care if they're a sex worker. They don't care about their past. And of course, this stripper's delighted, like, oh my God, thank you so much for not judging me. Thank you for understanding me. They were in this, like, this whirlwind romance. But the whole time, the masculine has a plan. This is a challenge. Whether, whether they're conscious of it or not, they are trying to control things, which is why the universe, like, let go of control. Stop trying to control other people. But they were like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change this person's life. I'm going to show them what it's like. This, this masculine may be well off. And they're like, I'm going to show this person what it's like when someone takes care of you. But that taking care of them came at a price, right? You will be only for me. But that's not something they verbally said to this person. <clears throat> or maybe they did. I don't know. Because it's going to be a, a, it's a general co uh, collective message. To some people, they did say that. Like, but you will be only for me. Maybe that was the agreement. <sighs> now, the surprise may be that once they got to know each other, they realized, I don't really like this person. I don't really like who they are. This project of mine, eh, it's not paying off. Clarify getting to know each other. Two of Wands, Queen of Wands, Four of Wands reversed. Oof. 
The Seven of Swords. Seven of Wands, Knight of Wands. Oh boy. This this is like a match made in hell. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just is. Because they're both in fire energy. Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands. But while the Queen of Wands is non-committal, not wanting relationship, wanting passion, maybe wanting stable passion, like let's let's get together as often as we can and, and fuck our brains out. They're both deceptive in different ways. The feminine was, was deceptive maybe in thinking that they could commit. The masculine was deceptive because the masculine is emotionally stunted. But they also don't want to let go of this queen. They're in this mentality of like, no, we can make it work. We can make it work. They're like, okay. But this is a match made in hell. <clears throat> They kept trying to grow, but look, here they are with this giant ass bean. Like, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Let me put it that way. They were, they were both in it for passion, for excitement, for... <sighs> this is like a movie. But once they got to know themselves, the bond did not deepen. The relationship fell apart. The Four of Wands is reversed. Excuse me. But I think that they both kept trying. Like, no, we can make it work. However, I do want to mention with this Seven of Swords, there's a married couple here. And now the masculine is looking at someone else. So. They, they might have gotten. They did fight it, though. Let's see. Clarify, express your love. Got Nine of Wands, Three of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> it's it's only hinted at though. It's not it's like that wasn't even the main issue. That was more of a consequence of this type of connection. Because I do see two threes. I was expecting to see a three of swords. <sighs> three of well, the three of pentacles already came out, but the three of swords is what I was really expecting to see. Because they're sitting here like, no, we can make it work. Nine of Wands, not wanting to give up. Like, I'm going to express my love. I'm going to keep going. But I feel like they saw, they saw someone else. But it was at a distance. It was more, it was something far off. Something that showed them what they might really want. Something that maybe solidified to them. Because remember, at the beginning, they didn't really know what they wanted. They just knew they wanted love. They knew that they could, they had an idea. They could fix this person. Something changed. They met somebody that taught them about true commitment. <clears throat> but there might have been some third party energy here. We do have a high priestess, but it's not really mm, not really telling me a lot. Uh, because this isn't the main story. The main story is what's happening here. This is just a consequence of having rushed into this. Clarify, let go of control issues. Five of Swords. Judgment. And the Knight of Cups. Oof. Oh, guys, 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 guys. This is... This is terrible. Okay, so this, this match that happened, both people contributed to it, okay? But I do feel like it's calling out more the masculine because the masculine came in, they were the man with the plan. And yet now, they're sitting here in this energy of judging the feminine, right? Because this person chose a kisang and now when the Kisang showed, I truly am a Kisang and I'm going to love someone else because that's my job. They judged her like, how dare you? That's who she was. That's who she always was. She was not trying to pretend to be someone else. 
maybe for a short time to please them, she did. But it was like, I, I thought we both knew where this was going to go. And now they're angry. And they might even be saying things, because remember, they met someone else. They might even be saying things that are cruel, that are hurtful, because here we see this other person wounded. About how this Queen of Wands isn't the divine feminine they thought she was. They're calling judgment on her because they did, this, this feminine didn't fit the description of what they wanted in the perfect woman, in, in the perfect partnership. And now they're bringing out her cruel side because she's defending herself. She's responding, right, to what their, their actions are. And now the chemistry, even the, the, this relationship was based on attraction and chemistry. And now even the attraction, the chemistry is being lost. Clarify chemistry reversed. Two of swords. Seven of swords. Sun. <sighs> yeah. Yep. Now we see the three of swords here. Because they are being cruel. They started being cruel ever since over here. But now she's responding in cruelty because they can't seem to understand each other. But they didn't get to know each other. They really, they both, more the masculine, but the masculine came in under this illusion, this fantasy. And the feminine got swept up in it like, okay, this sounds like fun. And when they met somebody that, that they truly felt was a good connection, now they're judging this other feminine for not being what they wanted. Does that make, that's, that's, that's kind of cruel. They just don't realize they're being cruel because they chose her being the way she was. So let me put it to you this way. This is like somebody saying, somebody telling someone else, I love you just the way you are. And that person's like, oh my God, thank you. That's, that's the real, that's real love, right? So they fall in love with this person. And then if this feminine gains weight, they may say something like, yeah, but not, not now. Now you're fat. Like, wait, I thought you loved me the way I like. So I have to continue being this image of who you think I am. So you don't love me. You love the way I look. Or you love certain parts of me. This was, this was the match made in hell. It really was. It's just, the masculine had a lot of healing to do. I'm sure that, that, this today the perspective was more for the masculine another day it may it may be more for the feminine but right now it was more focused on the the ideal this masculine had of how they wanted things to go they were a romantic but almost like they were very um rose-colored glasses type of romantic you know and that itself was the downfall of this connection so <sighs> This is interesting, but it's uh, it's a little sad. I think it's sad. So hopefully this gave you guys some sort of clarity, some sort of guidance. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. Hopefully you learned something else from it. As usual, I look forward to feedback. Um, if you appreciate my time and energy, please make sure to react, comment, and if it's already public, share. And I appreciate you guys, okay? Bye-bye.